What's up guys, it's Ghost Spartager here and welcome back to another Elden Ring PvP video. Today, we're going to be cosplaying as the Hunter of Death. This Faith Strength Hybrid build consists of the Twisted Sword as a main weapon, with Sacred Weapon as its Ash of War. It's defaulted that way, so you cannot change it, but nonetheless a very good Ash of War. Blade of Calling will serve as our offhand weapon, as it is a faith-based dagger with a very unique Ash of War that deals faith damage, which pairs perfectly with the Twisted Sword and this faith-based damage bit. This build allows for close quarter combat because of the high defense the armor has and the high damage you're going to be dealing with the faith weapons. It allows you to fight in the pocket but also fight at range should you need to do so. With all that being said, let's get right into some PvP. And we have a Crucible Knight. And he's buffing. Sacred Oath, okay. Let's get a little bit of damage defense going. Oh, rolled right into the weapon art. Oh, nice dodge. But I could do it too. Alright, let's give him a little bit of this. No way, come on. Oh, let's go. GG, bro. Damn, perfect freaking timing, man. GG's. And it's Flora with the impaling thrusting machine. <laughs> oh my god, the hyper armor. Oh, get clipped, boy. Nice dodge. Ooh. Get it. Oh, bro, dude. Damage, bro. Damage. GG. Ooh, you sneaky, freaking cheeky bastard. All right. That's how you want it, huh? Get it. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, you got so lucky right there, bro. Is this a bleed build? Oh, <laughs> he was not expecting Blade of Gold, Blade of Calling for the win. GG, man. Lee Berry coming in fast with the double. Banish Night Halberds. Oh my god, I can't believe you just outpoised him. Oh, bro, Sacred Blade has so much hyper armor and the roll catch. GG. That's a pretty scary build right there, man. I'm so glad I took him out that quick. Hooten's waifu, eh? <laughs> okay, so he's into lizard play. Or some sort of skated play. God damn, bro. I can't believe... Oh, bro. This weapon has so much freaking hyper armor. GG, man. Wow. I'm impressed, actually. And up next is another one of Steve Lofsky's boys. Always nice to see one of them running around here. I guess. Not really. Okay. Come on, bro. Where's your... Oh, there it is. Where's your little damn crouch attack? Get your little crouch poke, crouch poke, crouch poke. Annoying ass freaking game. Play and build. What? Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> He didn't roll. Ooh, with the roll catch. GG. Back to the gulag for you, gamer. Hello there, cripes, crips. I have no idea. But let's get our magic defense going because he looks like a pesky little mage. With a moon veil. And no vigor. <laughs> wow. Mages without any bigger. My favorite. GG. Young war crimes over there looking very stylish. Very samurai-ish. Let's give him some of that. Okay, you saw that coming, I guess. I got Kiba. Okay. Ooh, take it, bro. Sacred Blade to the face. And another one. GG. Ooh, and it's an edge lord with a scythe. Interesting. A bleed scythe. Whoa! No way. Connors have that much hyper armor? What? Betty has spinning slash on that. Oh no. Dude. This is not looking good. Uh uh. I'm falling for a little bullshit, bruh. Armor. Oh my god, the range! What? 
Oh, that trade was so freaking worth it. GG, bro. Almost bled me out. Oh, yes. Pyromancy, too. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Okay. I guess he's, he's trying to live up to his name, huh? Oh, get woke up. Oh, dude. <laughs> what? I can't believe I actually got him there. Holy shit. GG, Firekeeper. <laughs> Snake guys with the dismounter. Scary stuff if he has spinning slash on it. And he has an off hand Wakasashi. Ooh, that is a scary build right there, actually. I'm gonna have to play my card right. Can't be too aggressive. Or maybe you can! Wow, that did so little damage. What? Here's that sentinel armor he's wearing. Probably has high faith defense. Oh my god! Dude, I got so lucky right there. Holy. I thought I was like. I thought it was gonna get me there. There it is. Oh, dude! Bro, L2 after the weapon art. You could well catch people with that. That's that's very nice. GG. Oh, dude, this guy looks so familiar. <laughs> I wonder why. Kinda looks a little bit like the new Bonk Metal build. <laughs> no way, that's awesome. It's always so cool to see people using my builds. Oh, he even has that! Oh, and I fall for it! <laughs> oh, man. This is so cool. Ooh, what? Rangy? Oh, level up your vigor, son. GG, though. Nice seeing that build. You guys should check it out if you guys haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yes, that's a shameless plug. And we got to meet head strength build. Huh? Faith? Strength build? With the Uggs? Okay, that's interesting. Don't really see that too much. I really do miss the days though. When sling was so good. And come on bro, come at me. Backstab? What? Come on! Dude, that was such a backstab right there. Backstab? Dude! Wow! Okay. Ooh! Okay. I see you. I see you. <laughs> oh, man. GG. Oh, God! Oh, okay. It's very close to another one of my builds, actually. Not quite, because this is like a Kiba and... Rivers of Blood. I did Moon Veil on Rivers of Blood. Oh, what? Still very scary build, though. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Come on, bro. I ain't scared of you. Bring that Rivers of Blood again. Wah! Oh, that was okay. I gotta give it to him. That was, that was actually pretty nice. Come on, bro. Bad move. And we ended with a little shank. GG. So before we get into the build breakdown, I'd like for you guys to please leave a like rating on the video if you guys enjoyed what you guys watched. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more Elden Ring PvP content. And without any further ado, let's get into the build breakdown. We're going to be using the Inseparable Sword plus 10, which nets us 767 damage. Buffing the weapon grants us with a total of 857 damage, which is actually pretty damn good. And if we double hand it, it shoots up to 874. And the Blade of the Calling plus 10, which nets us 455 damage on our offhand. For the armor set, we're going to have the Twin Helms, Twin Armor, Twin Gauntlets, and Twin Greaves. For the Talismans, we have Urden Tree Favorite plus 2, Star Scourge Heirloom, Shard of Alexander, and the Bolt's Talisman. So as always, I am at level 135. Vigor is at 60, Mind is at 16. You can play around with that a little bit, maybe increase it a little bit more. You probably don't need 25 Endurance. 
could probably lower that and switch it for mind. Strength is at 23, dexterity is at 18, and faith is at 60. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. So remember to leave a like rating on the video, subscribe for more Elden Ring PvP content. Check out the next video on your screen now. And as always, this has been your boy Ghost Prodigy, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.